what's up YouTube it is a beautiful brisk Friday morning let me start by saying I am already in a ton of trouble for coming out to make this video today but she's gonna be mad whether I have a good time or a bad time just because I'm gone so we might as well have the best time that we can have it is January 21st it's my friend's birthday today turning 30 so uh, yeah we're gonna go down I think we're gonna go for a little ride and I think we're gonna head back up this way go to Oak Hills and get some cigars I think that's the plan for today it might be windy down the hill I don't know deal with it when we get there I don't really know how far we're gonna go I don't know where we plan on riding to today probably won't be anything extravagant but it'll be fun I cleaned up the wires on my camera a little bit this morning it looks so much better than that electrical tape mess that I had going on in front Harleys love this cold air. My bike runs so crisp when the weather is like this. Well, I'm going to turn the camera off. I will see you guys down in San Bernardino. take the side streets down to the bottom of highway 18 take highway 18 up into crest line jump on the 138 head out back that way you know go see some cold mountain roads there's a spot on the 18 they actually just opened it back up uh, I think it was like the day before Christmas highway 18 washed out so we'll see where they're rebuilding the road and stuff too Did I just actually use my turn signal? I never use my turn signals. I either use hand signals or nothing because I just assume that nobody sees me anyway. Best advice I ever got was from my dad. Ride like you're invisible and everyone around you is blind. Here we are at the bottom of Waterman Canyon, AKA Highway 18.
beautiful. This is one of my favorite things in the world to do right here. Just ride some mountain roads. If I ever leave California, this will be one of the things that I miss the most. Getting close to the washout if they got all the material in the dozer and stuff right there. Hey, so a fun little story. When I was in elementary school, uh, it was like a fine arts program school. We had to go outside and draw the and like paint or draw color I don't know whatever the scenery around us and I decided to draw the mountains and I could see cars driving across highway 18 up here my middle school is right at the bottom of the mountain and the teacher told me that I needed to start over because I could not see the roads in the mountains and uh, I told her that I told her that I can clearly see cars driving on the mountains. Like my eyesight's always been pretty good. It's getting worse as I'm getting older, but yeah, she made me start over my drawing because she said that I couldn't see the cars driving on the mountain. If that's not public school for you, then I don't know what is. Where'd Josh go?
Wanna eat or no? Right here? The Bear House Family Restaurant. Never been here before. Stop for some coffee. I ended up getting a couple eggs and some toast, a couple slices of bacon. It was pretty good. I've been uh, on a pretty strict diet, so I didn't really try to gorge myself or anything. I think maybe ate like 500 calories or something. Yeah, that was good. I've never been there before. I've never really done a whole lot in Crestline other than like fireworks shows and 4th of July and stuff. Ooh, my back tires slid on me a little bit. found my thrashing gloves I thought my wife had hit them from me and then I went digging deep in my bags and uh, found them in there Ooh, it is chilly in the shade let me tell you oh man look at the blazer Oh, this lady is not happy that they are out trimming trees in her front yard. Man, don't cut my trees. It's my beautiful view. So what if they're grown into the power line? Man. <laughs> that guy's just out there trying to make a living and he's got to deal with her. That sucks. That thing is sick. God, those, oh man, those things are worth so much money now too. They used to be like a $700 truck. Now you can probably get seven grand for it. Oh, I lost my music. It's okay, I still have you guys. I'm not really gonna try to push it too crazy right here because we still got a lot of time to kill. Hey, does anyone need a trailer tire? Because some can't dump their trash right there. If you go anywhere besides the dump and dump your trash, you are a pile. You are scum of the earth. Yeah, when we were, when Josh and I were younger, there would always be 10 days, well, I don't know if you count it, 9 or 10, whatever, 9, 10 days, where we would be the same age, and those were like the best 10 days of my life, because that's like the only thing that matters when you're a kid. That's all you've got on your friends is your age. I'm older. <laughs> I play that game with my with my older girls now. Because uh, they're like a month, their birthdays are like a month and a half apart. So when the older of the two hits her next age, we'll just play games with her, play games with the youngest one. Like, oh man, only kids that are this old can do that. Or it must be because she's this old and you're only this old. 
funniest game for me to play. <clears throat> so when I had my old soft tail, it was a 2000 fat boy. That thing was super low to the floor. I had no business being on mountain roads. But I mean, I, I pushed it pretty hard, you know, as hard as that bike could go, I think. And uh, I was on this road back here and there was a sport bike in front of me, just cruising kind of how I'm doing now, you know, he wasn't in a hurry. And I started pushing on him a little bit, you know, like getting kind of close to him. He starts going faster, I start going faster. And to the point, he got to the point where, you know, he could just take those corners and I couldn't anymore. And we got out to the straightaway like on the back side of Silverwood Lake back here and took off. I mean, we were cooking. And uh, I saw his brake lights flash three times. You know, or, you know, he just hit his brakes a bunch of times, flashed his, his back lights at me. Obviously letting me know that there was a cop and he wasn't slowing down. I slowed down a little bit, flew past that cop and was like, oh man, I'm screwed. And uh, I start going a little bit. I'm like, oh man, he hasn't pulled out yet. So I pick my speed back up a little bit and I see him behind me. He didn't even have his lights on or anything, but I already knew why he had pulled out. So I pulled over into a, into a turnout, took my helmet off and he came up behind me. He's like, hey, what's the hurry? I was like, oh man, I was just enjoying, you know, a nice little Sunday ride. And, uh, you know, asked me if, he, if I knew how fast I was going. I told him, I honestly didn't know how fast I was going. I told him no. I don't think he knew how fast I was going either. I don't think he clocked me. I think he could just tell I was boogieing. Maybe he knew my pride was a little hurt too because uh, that sport bike was whooping me. And I got off with a warning. No ticket. If it would have been like a month before that, I didn't have my motorcycle license. I just got my motorcycle license. I rode without it for like a year. Yeah, about a year before I got my license and uh, right after that I got pulled over. Yeah, I was about right here, man. We just started scooting. It's Friday and there's still snow in the mountains. Give it about another two hours and traffic's going to start getting heavy coming up these roads. Not so much the uh, 138 back here. You can see Silverwood Lake back there. Uh, not so much the 138 back here, but uh, like Highway 18 that we rode up to get to Crestline, Highway 330, Highway 38, it just, it gets gnarly. When I lived up here, we had to plan around for our weekends knowing like, okay, if there's snow in the mountains, then we gotta go down at this time to make it up before this time before traffic gets heavy. It was like, my wife had that down like clockwork. She knew when to go and when not to. The only time I've ever been on a tube behind a boat was out at Silver Silverwood Lake right here. Uh, one of my parents' friends had a boat. They're like, hey, come out. So we got on that. And uh, I knew. I got skipped across the water like somebody throwing a flat rock. <laughs> it sucked. Never again. I'll stay in the boat or I'll get off the boat and swim. That's, that's the extent of it. No more tubes. I don't need gas, but Josh does. I 
Hey, since we got so much time to kill, we can ride up through Phelan too. Right on. GPS is gonna freak out right now because I'm going like way out of the way. We're gonna ride up to Phelan because we got time to kill. Cool little rip today. Woo, clouds are rolling in. It's getting, it's a little more chilly now than it was when we took off. This light ain't ever gonna turn green with me sitting on this thing. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna try to make one, one more pit stop before I go home real quick. That should soften, soften my blow for being out on the bike all morning before I go to work.
Hey, do you want to you want to tell YouTube about how great your husband is? How how you who would never leave you hanging all day while he just went out gallivanting? Oh, well, so do I have another husband? Or <laughs> <laughs> all right. Happy birthday to Josh. Uh, nice ride today. Well, let's all look close. Like, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All these fun adventures. She'll get to go one day when we find a babysitter for these kids. I go on my own adventures. <laughs> to Hobby Lobby. Yeah.